hello friends i hope you guys are doing good so today i am going to cover a scenario where you are having the uh, data present in form of a delimited strings or a fixed width strings maybe in a table or it can be in a file as well so the requirement is that if you have such type of data present how you are going to put that into multiple columns or a different or a separate columns right so i will uh, just uh, show one example as well that what do we mean by delimited file or what do we mean by fixed width file so if you see over here right this is uh, this is an example of a delimited file or a delimited data it means you are having the columns uh, basically concatenated by a delimiter when i say delimiter it can be anything right it can be a pipe so this is a pipe over here it can be a comma or it can be a tilde or any other special character so if you see csv right csv files the comma separated values right so csv is also a type of a delimited file where delimiter is a comma so you can have such data in your table or in a file and then you can have fixed width file in a fixed width file basically there is no delimiter present so for each column there is a width which is decided so for for the first column it is 15 over here for the second column it is 20 third column it is 20 and fourth column it is 20 now when we say 20 right it means not every uh, every row is going to have the 20 characters in the particular cell so what will happen we will have to r pad or l pad that value with some character so usually we we uh, do it with the spaces so r pad means you are having only uh, three letters over here right if you see lex but the fixed width is 20 so now lex will be r padded with a space of 17 more characters so that the whole column width for uh, for this one will always remain 20 okay so that's how the fixed width file will work so now the requirement is that if you have such type of data how to convert that data into uh, columns right you want to put it into some different uh, columns in a table so how to do that if you are having a file first the first uh, uh, step is going to be that you need to simply dump that file into a single column in a temporary table at your end okay so let's consider consider the example of a delimited file where this data is already present in one of the table so mostly there are two functions which i am going to use for this purpose one is instr and the second is the substr instr basically returns the index from a string when a character is found so suppose you you want to find the delimiter right uh, it can be pipe so now as soon as you find the pipe in a particular string then it will return that index and in case of a substring it will return the whole string from one index to the another so you need to pass the index uh, uh, index value basically in this term uh, function so i will just give a walkthrough of the full example that how this can be done yeah. so i have already created a table uh, named as delimited it already have this data which is pipe separated so let us see how we can uh, fetch these uh, values of employee id first name last name and email into separate columns so we will start with instr first right so tr right so instr will give you the occurrence right the occurrence position so uh, syntax is like this right instr and then uh, the string in which you want to do the search so that is str column over here then what we want to search we want to search pipe from which position uh, first position and what occurrence first occurrence right because first occurrence will give me the emp id so we will uh, give the alias to this one as a okay so you have got four similarly so we will do for the others okay so we have b then we have C. Okay. So over here, we will have to change the occurrences uh, values, right? So 1, 2, and C. So 
first pipe, second pipe and then third pipe. So it will give you 4, 11 and 15. So position of the first pipe is 4, position of the second pipe is 11 and position of third pipe is 16. Okay. So now this will give you the position only, right? But we need the data. So how to get the data from this? So what I am going to do, I am going to give this whole query name as alias. So with T as, right? So so basically with clause helps you to give the alias to the query right so that can store the results in, in the memory and on that you can uh, refer that uh, result set with some alias in your other queries right so I, I will show you the in this example so let me put it in a straight line actually okay yeah so with t as then i have given the uh, query now i will write select star from so this will also give you the same thing so basically what we are doing we are giving t as a name to this query and then we can refer this t and we can uh, query on this particular result set that is marked as t this is not persisting in your database right so this is not a table which will persist in your database as soon as you delete this query it will be deleted okay so first of all i will use str then sub str so how sub str will work sub str will give you the uh, uh, substring from that whole string from one position to the other position so first of all I will put str so within this string I need to fetch the data from which position from first position to which position so basically this is the length of that position how many characters so from first to how many characters we need four characters right so anyway this a is giving me four row so a right like this one from so it will give me 100 and pipe since pipe is coming because you are using 1 to 4 right so it is taking 4 characters including pipe now I get right I need to write a minus 1 that will give me the required output so 100 so I will give this uh, name as a emp id hmm? okay then we will do the similar thing for the other ones for the first name what I will do I will take it from A okay and I will take it till B minus A B minus A because I want to uh, get the length right so the length was 11 right so 11 minus 4 is 7 that's what I need okay so it is first name if you see this one right first name now it is including the uh, pipe as well over here so I need to write A minus 1 to separate out the pipe right so oh, sorry a plus one a plus one okay so this is how you will get the first name similarly you will get the second name as well so i will have to write b over here then c and then b okay. oh, yeah i emp id first name last name now the last one the last one does not have any ending pipe so how you are going to get that we will use sub str str comma okay c plus one then comma then we will have to take the length length of the full string and we will minus value of c okay that's how it is so that that will give you the required output okay so taking the full length of this whole string then minus the last position of the pipe then taking that length out of that so you will get this one okay so this is one way how you can do that for the delimited data alternatively what you can do instead of writing uh, the instr over here and then using it as a alias a b and c in substring you can directly use this one so what you can do just copy this whole instr function right and wherever a is there you can directly uh, use it so I can replace over here over here wherever A is there right A and that's it similarly B I will copy and I will replace all the B's B and if you see B over here B over here and then C okay C as well so what will happen you will not have to write 
two queries. This might be a bit complex, but it can be done at once. So I will remove this one. Okay. Hmm. P C. Okay, this one. Right. So. Okay. So I have replaced everything, and now you can see same output you can achieve through single substring code as well okay so this is how you can do for the delimited data yeah so let us see how this can be done on the fixed width file or a fixed width table right so already i have created a table of a fixed width which is having a sphere column that column has the same data whatever we were using in the delimited one but over here it is fixed so these are the values which are fixed actually 15 20 20 20 okay so what we can do it is very simple now you don't need to use instr because you are not able, not doing any uh, finding of the delimiter right you you all are already aware that what is the width of each column so what you will do you will write select sub str then str then 1 comma 15 right so you will write 15 over here then it will give you the emp id so let me write str as well okay so this is this is over here you can see right str then emp id what is the other value the other value is that so you will take the string from 15th then 16th 15 till 20 right so it means 26 36 okay that is going to be your f name okay so let me show you like that this is how it is Okay. It should be 20 basically, yeah. 16, 10, 20. It will give you first name. So I have removed the str over here because it is very long string. So what is the other one? Other one is your uh, 20 plus 16 is what? 20 plus 16 is so 15, then 20 is 35, so 36. 36 and 20, right? Then it will give you your L name like this. Okay, and then last. Last is what? Last is uh, so 15 plus 20 plus 20, right? 40, 55. So it should be 56. 56 is 20, right? 56. And it is your email. So this is how you are going to get the fixed fit data. Now, what you can do, you can simply write trim over here. So this will remove the spaces, right? trim for every column so it will remove the spaces and you will get the exact data otherwise every uh, column will be padded by the uh, spaces because it is a fixed fit file so see this one okay this is how you will get the data for the fixed fit file now let us see how we can do it in pl sql so i have written a very simple uh, pl sql script right so set server output on so declare then begin for v in the query right select str from the delimited that is your table name then you will have to run a loop and you want to print it or you want to insert the data into some other table whatever you want to do you can write those steps over here right now i want to print it on the console so i will be writing dbms output dot put line then same command right whatever substring you were using over there so substring then it is using the in string and if you run this query run this script it will give you the id so if you see like this one 100 100 102 like this right if you want to append it uh, through comma or through some other values what you can do you can simply you can either write like this one so you can insert first column uh, into a, 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 i mean this one first uh, employee id is into the other column right first name into some other columns like that also you can do or if you want to put it into the dbms output then there are two ways one by one uh, you can do it or you can co concatenate into a single dbms output and it will give you line by line okay i will sh uh, show you that output as well so over here i am able to write this one as well right so let us try to run this query run this uh, script so you got employee id 
employee ID and the first name employee ID and the first name employee ID and the first name similarly you can uh, do it for the last name and you can do it for the email as well now if you can do it in the SQL then what is the need to do it through PL SQL right so I mean there can be scenarios where there are some conditional statements which you want to use right so for this type of particular values where employer ID from this to this uh, you want to write them into a separate table then from employer ID 200 to 500 you want to write them in a separate table or on the basis of date of joining like for this year you want to move all that data into some other table for 2022 joining dates you want to uh, put all that data into some other table there can be numerous scenarios right for so in everything is not possible to handle through sql query only right if there are any conditional uh, scenarios then you will have to take the root of the pl sql so that's how you can do it through the pl sql as well right similarly for the fixed file you don't need to write the instr directly use the substr and it will work okay so i hope uh, the session for today was really helpful just do like and subscribe if you have any query just let me know in the comment section okay thank you have a great day